our main mission here at uh, Trans Patrol is to make sure that the transit system in the City of Toronto is safe and secure. Um, there's no point in, in making it uh, better and bigger if it's not safe and secure and people can't travel from A to B in uh, safety and uh, feel secure while they're doing it. available for, for subway, for subway for free ambulance. That's, that's, that's our radio call. 72 call radio. 5C. This is a common occurrence, right? In the not necessarily in the mornings, but all throughout the day. People faint or they have other medical issues, and so they have to stop the trains. At Transit Patrol, we feel that we're the uh, uh, crew unit of the transit system throughout the city, um, and we try to be uh, more proactive than reactive. We try to identify problems through our intelligence analyst and then attack those problems uh, in a proactive manner, again, to keep the system safe and secure. So we enforce the TTC bylaws, and they are posted in every station, so it's either uh, not to sell, distribute, or solicit on TTC property, which is sometimes what panhandlers do, um, and we also uh, enforce the payment, the fare of uh, TTC fares during um, regular patrol, and if there's no radio calls, you go to the stations and you, you uh, see if you can find people um, violating any uh, HTA, or not HTA offense, but Safe Streets Act, Trespass Property Act, um, C bylaw number one, mm -hmm. all the fun stuff. So he's panhandling, right? And you're not allowed to be doing that close to a bus stop or a TTC. So we can either give him a provincial offenses ticket, or we can give him a caution. And he was compliant with me. He used my discretion and I asked him just to move along. Some of the the officers they see first a lot of times are, are transit patrol officers. So the expectation is that we're professional, that we're respectful to those folks, that we treat them fairly. Um, our appearance is, is impeccable. And a lot of times people are seeing Toronto police for the first time by our transit patrol officers. So the expectation is the customer service that we afford, not only in how we look, but how we treat people, how we deal with people, not just uh, dealing with people that have called the police, but dealing with um, saying good morning to, to people, being nice to people, smiling, and, and affording good customer service that leads to uh, enhance our public trust and appreciation of, uh, of, of the people that come in contact with the Toronto Police.